This is Serena Tuna. And in this video, I'm gonna turn this simple object into a character, applying some of the techniques that I've learned from Pinotuna on his course from Colosso. So by the way, thank you Colosso for sponsoring today's video. Colosso is perfect timing because I actually love Pinotuna's artwork. Could you teach me to be just like you? Okay, so when you open the app, it will look like this. So they will welcome you like this. Would you like to pick up where you left off? Yes, you can confirm that. Oh, what? So it turns out I can screen record, so I'll just record a preview on my phone later. The first section is just orientation and setting up the workspace. And the second section is focused on drawing characters with lines, not with any color. And on the third section, you learn color theory and how different lighting scenarios can affect the colors. Fun first starts. In this section, you'll get to learn how to design characters, how to collect references, apply what you have learned from section 1 and 2, which is color theory, and how to draw. The rest of the sections are mostly for compositions and detailing the design of the characters. By the way, they also have class materials that you can download. If you're using iPad and have appropriate, you can save it on PC and email it to yourself because it's a PSD file and Procreate is the only software I know that can open the file. 저는 일러스트레이터 리노 참치입니다. 콜로소에서 기다리고 있겠습니다. Finally, you can go and turn this object into a character. I decided to give her a hat to make the silhouette of the lamp and the creepy cute smile to, to get the concept that I'm looking for. If you're like uncomfortable drawing full body characters, Insuna's course in Colossal is just perfect course for you. I decided to give her some wings, some kind of like a bat, because I'm thinking of something creepy, fun, and cute concept. So I kind of want her holding the lamp and then kind of like a trick or treat. Kind of want to make her my OC <laughs> because I'm thinking of making her kind of like she can see ghosts and she can scare away evil spirits. So this is how the design turned out and I'm pretty happy about it so I'll start to polish it. On the line art, I've used the default one, the deep pen hard. After that, I will just set the line art layer to a multiply layer so I can see the colors that I'm putting in even if it's covered by the line art. So I just realized I haven't I didn't press record when I was like on the process of making this artwork. Well, there's a speed paint after this. So. <laughs> That's good. Um, yeah. So here the speed paint if you guys want to see the process of how I did this. So yeah. 